Hello people, it's Green here, coming to you from, well, the Green Channel. So, I'm here to talk to you guys about a very important thing that happened today. And today happens to be the 4th of June. So, what happened today was something out of the ordinary, I guess we can say. Um... Today, earlier today, I got a contact request from somebody I did not know. Somebody is mowing my lawn very loudly. So I got a contact request from somebody I did not know. And they did not know me. And what happened was, so I said hello, how you doing? the basic stuff, and I asked them their name, and if, like, and I asked them how they knew me. Well, they said that it would be better if we exchanged contact information, like phone information, and I immediately thought, okay, this is a little fishy, just by how this person is talking, and the way they're talking, it just seems really shady, I guess. And that being said, I immediately answered, uh, could we Skype? It would be easier if we could Skype. Well, they then gave me a link on Skype to a website they wanted to they wanted me to meet them on. Well, I took that website and it was something I had not expected at all. Something that I did not want to see, I did not want any part of, and I did not appreciate in the slightest bit. That being said, I had Taking that website, I exit out of it almost immediately, finding out immediately what it was, or what it really was anyway. And I said, oh, there must be some mistake, you know, they sent the wrong, sent the wrong website. And she then replied, nope, that's the right website. And then I sent a message and said, uh, I don't think you know me very well, so here's what's going to happen. I, I do not appreciate this kind of stuff, nor will I ever appreciate this kind of stuff, and I, I would really like it if we could just Skype. Well, that was a bad decision on my part, because she did not seem to understand that I did not want to see what, whatever was she whatever it was she was trying to show me because I never even did a thing because I was supposed to uh, make an account and do all this other stuff and it was just stuff I was really uncomfortable with so after I said uh, there must have been some mistake and he's, so after we chatted and I said I do not want any part of this. Well, and she kept saying, "Well, you probably signed in wrong." I had to do the. I had to sign in as well, and it was confusing. Just try it one more time, and then it should work. Well, it it seemed like she didn't understand the situation I was in right at that time. That I did not. I did not ignore what I ever want part of that type of stuff. And <clears throat> she, I'm assuming it's a she anyway, she did not seem to understand that either. Well, she did not seem to understand that I didn't want any part of it. And I guess I feel sorry for her for that, for not, like, for not understanding that situation. But at the same time, I kind of 
don't feel sorry, if that makes sense. Because basically what she did was wrong, in my opinion. Because here's the first thing she did wrong. She invited a complete stranger to go on Skype and talk to her. Now, granted she, she could have handled it much differently. For one thing, she, instead of sending me that information, she could have asked me if I was okay with that kind of stuff. Or she could have asked me my name, I guess. Well, no, that probably wouldn't have changed the, changed the circumstances. But, but they, honestly, she, she made me feel so uncomfortable that I couldn't even breathe. It was that bad. I, I, I couldn't understand why she would even consider doing this with a complete stranger. Just like, chatting and stuff. And the minute I, I said no thank you, she kept saying, well that's okay, you can still go log on and stuff. And it, it seemed like she didn't, it didn't get through thick skin. So, I eventually said, look, I, I understand that you're very beautiful, and I, I really think you are very beautiful, but I cannot see these kinds of, see this kind of material. This is not the kind of stuff I'm into, and I do not want to take part of this. And it, after like 10 minutes of talking to her and trying to get her to understand my way, or the way I did not, basically like the way I wanted her to understand, she finally said K, and then basically stop talking to me. Well, then I realized like that was my cue to I guess uh delete her friend request or her delete her as a contact. Because I I didn't want any part of that. I still don't want any part of that. It just kinda I guess it doesn't really like freak me out, but it just it's too different for me. And what I mean by that is like it's not my kind of style to be in those kinds of situations. I don't appreciate people trying to put me in them. And I this is probably the second time it's ever happened to me. First time it's happened through Skype, second time someone tried to put me in that kind of situation. And I, it's times like those I really look down on people like that, that just are looking for attention, I guess, which is my kind of belief on why they do it, or people like her do it. They, they kind of look for attention, and they want to be noticed by men and other people, and they want to be appreciated for a talent they can be good at, and as it turns out, that's... Well, newsflash for those who don't already know, that's not the best choice for you to be making. And I, I look down on those people. I'm not afraid to admit that I look down on those people. And the fact that she was completely okay with doing this kind of stuff with a complete stranger, she, she knew nothing about. I knew nothing about her, and hypothetically speaking, I could have been a stalker. I could have been a hacker. I could have hacked into her website, or not her website, but her account, and post stuff, like post pictures of her with her contact information to everyone I'd ever met, Skype, on a... I could have posted it on the Minecraft forums, and no one would have even known it was me, if I was that bad. And, and um, she, she was willing to, well, actually, I don't even know if she, 
don't think she was willing to accept the consequences if something bad did happen. But she sh she sure as heck wasn't gonna let anything like get in her way. She she is one of the few people I've ever met where they don't care what other what um what others think of her at those types of moments. All she really cares about is, or she seems to care about anyway, is when she's gonna meet the next guy. And granted, she's probably only about my age. I've never, I didn't see any pictures of her, I don't know what she looks like, just out of complete respect and also a little bit of, of embarrassment. I, I would I would have been embarrassed if I saw those types of that type of material. And I I'm not afraid to admit it. I don't like those types of things. I feel like it's really degrading for women. And it makes it also makes like women look bad, I guess. Because some I guess some girls just want to grow up so fast that they're not willing to Accept the consequences of being a grown up. And if I. This is going back to the topic of me being someone else. If I were to be the type of person that could have been a bad case scenario for her, she probably would have resorted to doing some very bad things such as cutting, or maybe she would have tried bleach, or maybe she became an alcoholic. I, I don't know, because I'll never, I, I won't be talking to her ever again. And I, I don't want to talk to her ever again. To be honest, I don't want to put myself in those types of situations, because they're, they're really uncomfortable for me. And I'm not saying I'm gay or anything, and I'm not saying I'm different, but but I, I'd rather meet someone that I know and go out with them and get to know them better if I don't know much about them. And I'd rather, I'd rather have like a normal relationship if there was ever a definition of normal. That would probably be my definition. And I'd rather take it slow, if that makes sense. Like. I don't know, maybe first day, just go out for dinner, second day, uh, first kiss, third day, uh, hang out, more dinner, you know, just simple stuff, taking baby steps. And I feel like that's a step or a way a lot of people should take in my opinion, but I'm not going to force people to change the way I feel like they should, because, well, for one thing, you guys shouldn't care about my opinion. You should just be willing to accept it and maybe learn a thing or two from it. Because nobody should really have to listen to the opinions of others. They should just be willing to accept them and be willing to listen to them if they're good enough opinions. Like, um, for example, a friend of mine, I'm not going to mention his name, uh, I have a couple friends in this situation. One of them has Watch Dogs, or no, not Watch Dogs, sorry, but um, it's made by Naughty Dogs. It's The Last of Us. One of my friends has The Last of Us, and another friend <clears throat> says it's a terrible game. Now he's entitled to his own opinion, but I'm I'm not gonna believe it because I I believe that Watch Dogs. There we go, get Sig Watch Dogs. I believe that uh, The Last of Us is an amazing game. Now, you guys could hear my opinion. You don't have to listen to it. You could find out through your own experiences if you if you uh, prefer. But my friend who owns The Last of Us and I believe that it's an amazing game. But one of my friends does not think it's an amazing game, and that's his opinion, and I respect him for that. But am I going to listen to him? No, I'm going to, 
I'm going to take his opinion into account, and I'm going to appreciate it, but I'm still going to enjoy my own opinion. I don't even know how I got onto this opinion thing, guys. I'm sorry. I got to, in detail, just opinions. So, what I'm getting to here is that this country is... Amer this country... America is changing faster than we can catch up to. <coughs> and that's changing a little too rapidly for some of us. If not a lot of us. It's changing a little too rapidly. And if we could find that middle ground of which we can just slow down what's going on around us and just stop and smell the roses in a way because we with technology our lives are becoming more non-stop and we can't like we can't seem to find that ground to slow down on which is really really too bad but I feel like we can learn better from just slowing down and appreciating what's around us. And just taking our time with situations. I think we could really learn some stuff from that. But with technology today, people are texting every day. Like every minute of the day. People are watching TV every minute of the day. People are playing video games every minute they can of the day. And I I mean, I have nothing wrong. I have nothing against video games. It's pretty much how I'm making my living. Well, I, I'm not making a living off it yet. I still need to get on a company, or companies to take me on. But to each his own, I guess. And how this has come from pornography to like opinions to my job, I, I'll never know, but that's kind of how the cookie crumbles, as they say. Anyways, back to my original topic. This, this girl was a very, I guess, this girl was different, in my opinion. She is one of the people that tend to, I guess, relieve themselves of doubt, if that makes sense. They prefer to just, um, this is this is a really difficult topic for me to explain, guys. I'm, I'm sorry if this is going really, like, slowly. It's, it's, it's baby steps. We're getting there. We're getting there. But, there's a lot of people out there basically that'll come, that'll invite you to these situations or that'll, um, put you through these types of situations. And honestly, it seems like the best thing for you to do in those types of situations is to just, just say no. That's all you need to do is say no thank you and be on your way. And... <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Rut roll Rorge. Oh. Sneaky little guy. But that's all you really need to do. Is just say no. And once you get that no out, people will start to leave you alone with the, from those types of situations. You won't be bugged as much, but eventually people will start to respect your decision, and that's that. And that's kind of what I've learned over the years. Just a simple no is all it takes for a situation to... That's all it really takes for some situations. 
And I kind of wanted to talk with you guys about this because I really just wanted to get this off my chest. I've heard and experienced that if you talk something through with people, or I guess in this case a lot of people, the situation can come out as a better situation for you. Because you'll feel like a, a large weight was taken off your shoulders. You'll feel like that you're not, you're you again, basically. And I really, it really means a lot that you guys are willing to listen to this. And I'm sorry for you guys that don't want to listen to this. You can, you, you can leave at any time if you want. If this gets uncomfortable or you were expecting something else, like me building another building this episode, or maybe expecting to see the T-Rex baby all grown up and ready to be tamed. But I. I don't know, this really happened, this like, happened really, uh, recently, and I just wanted to get this off my chest, for personal reasons. So yeah, I think we'll end this on a high note, and I'll see you guys later. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and have a nice day guys. Bye.